One of the most powerful and simple tools on YouTube is the auto subscribe link. And I'm going to teach you how to make your very own auto subscribe YouTube link today. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now if you're new around here and you're looking to start your YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel or push your brand out there into the second largest search engine on the internet, click subscribe, start creating. Now when you're on YouTube and you're looking to make your channel grow, the first thing you need to do is make it as easy as possible for someone to find you and subscribe to your channel. And there's no easier way to make people subscribe to your channel than a link that pretty much directs them straight to just say, yes, subscribe. You know, rather than going to your channel page and then hunting out the subscribe button itself, you can simply send a link and then it goes, oh, ah, there you go, you sub straight away. Now before I tell you how you can create your own auto subscribe link, why it is good and where you should put it I want to know do you use auto subscribe links have you ever used like URL shortener links or how many subscribers and views are you currently getting are you looking to jump towards a certain milestone please leave a comment down below now for some of you you may be starting out and you may be a small youtuber and sometimes when you're a small youtuber under a hundred subscribers you've got this ugly kind of channel link thing this long hideous thing that, that just scares people off. Now if you're over 100 subscribers, I have got a video up here to tell you how you can change that horrible, hideous long link into a very much more custom URL using your own name or your own channel name. Video up here. But a very quick and simple way, whether you have 100 subscribers or not, is to use an auto subscribe link and a URL shortener to make it even easier for people to find you and for you to share that link. Now, some of you may notice on my own homepage at the top right hand corner, I have a click here to subscribe link. And if you click on it, right, not only does it jump you away, but it automatically, if you're not subscribed, pops up a little box that says, would you like to subscribe? Yes. The reason this exists, not only in the top right hand corner of my channel page, but also in all of my descriptions and as many places as I, I can float it, even in my description, the reason why it's there is to make it as simple as possible for people to convert. At the end of the day, you want to make it as simple as possible. You don't want them clicking three or four links because they might go, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll subscribe. Uh, and then I have to click here. And then I have to click there. You don't want to lose people between the first click and the third click that confirms them. So to create your own auto subscribe link, what you need to do is get your channel name or your channel ID. Your channel name will either look like this, mine is youtube.com forward slash Alan Spicer, or your channel ID is that long one, that hideous one, where if you hover over my channel or channel link, it brings up a channel ID, right? Take either of those, right? And now for you to create a subscribe link, you need to add this to the end of it. Yeah? Right, I'm now going to compare it together and like compile it, and this is what your link should look like. So in my case, it's youtube.com forward slash Alan Spicer, and then squiggle question mark, and then that, that sub confirm equal one thing, yeah? What that does in its purest, simplest form is tell YouTube, yes, I want to subscribe to the channel here in front of the sub plus one, or the sub equals one. Yes, whether it's a channel name or whether it's the long squiggly thing, they're both the same. The reason why that's so important to know is that if you don't have a custom channel URL, like Alan Spicer, that you can still use this custom link. Now, to make it even better, if you don't wanna throw around that long thing, forward squiggle, question mark, sub equals one thing, go to goo.gl or Google. Right? It's a URL shortener, which is owned by Google, so it's completely safe. You throw in that long sub thingy into the left-hand side, and on the other side, it creates a short Google dot something, and then a really short thing. Basically, it's a short URL. I then advise that that short URL can go in your descriptions, or can go on your Twitter, or can go on your tweets, or can go on your Facebook. Basically, you now have a short link that's slightly easier to remember, that auto-subscribes immediately, and even better, because it is a shortener, it even tracks how many people click on it, where they clicked from, right? And so you can start using that analytics. So maybe you can have a look at those and you can see, okay, that link's clicked on a lot from Twitter, clicked on a lot from Facebook, and you can see where those subscribers are coming from. You can also see how many people have clicked on it in the long run. So in the long run, you may have thousands of people that have clicked it and two or 300 people that have stayed. So you can work out the the conversion rate there. So that is how you create your very own auto subscribe link to use on YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, anywhere you want. If you want more tricks and tips, there's a free PDF up here in the description down below. Remember to hit that subscribe button for constant videos. Hit that notification icon so you don't miss any of my live streams. Go out there, start creating.